Abracadabra. Good afternoon. Welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you and happy Easter. Welcome to Butterfly Square Garden, a place where you're free to be yourself like a little butterfly. Because that's uh, how this all got started. But right now, this is a drawing video. Hopefully, that's why you came here. I bet you cop you uh, may uh, be a redditor. So um, we're gonna do the same thing that we usually do uh, to get our experience. We want to draw every day, so this is our daily drawing video. And Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain is a book that I use to study. This is what I study, and this is what I teach. The, I've uh, been teaching a class about this book for a very long time. So without further ado, yeah, we're going to do an exercise from here. I'll explain that. We're going to do a little exercise from here. I'll explain that. And then we're going to do a little figure drawing and a portraiture. And hopefully you guys will in return send me pictures or video of your work. Mm, yep. Last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow and I will help your channel grow. Uh, yep, that's the little image over there of the face vase that you can click on, which is what we're going to draw. So we're going to draw the face vase. Snaps for the face vase. <coughs> doo -doo. So drawing on the right side of the brain, a course in enhancing creativity and artistic confidence. Clapping for Betty Edwards. Snaps for Betty Edwards. A brand new edition of the classic, expanded and updated, because they keep doing it over and over. Who knows what that is? We spoke about it in other videos. I wish it was brighter in here. Um, sorry, doing the best I can. I always start class <clears throat> for the beginners or people who are new with the five basic skills of drawing, because in order to learn how to draw. <sighs> I'm rushing today, but I still have to do the spiel. Um, anyone who can read and write should know how to draw. And just like an adult, yeah, any adult child, whatever, anyone who can read and write drawing goes together. Just like people need to know how to swim and, you know, there's just basic life skills. So, um, riding a bike, driving a car, Whatever you can do. This is a good one. So let's read out the five basic skills because in this book we learn that drawing is a global skill. So you can learn to draw relatively quickly, just like riding a bike or swimming. You just get it one day. Um, do, 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 do. Reading them all out together. I'll make my head smaller. <laughs> this is just part of class. Get used to it. Say it with me. I can say it with my eyes closed, but um, I'll put it on screen for you guys. So, the global skill of drawing a perceived object, landscape, something, object, person, landscape, something you see out there requires only five basic component skills, no more. These skills are not drawing skills, they are perceptual skills, listed as follows. One, the perception of edges. Two, the perception of spaces. Three, the perception of relationships. Four, the perception of lights and shadows. And five, the perception of the whole, or the gestalt, which is really just a combination of the first four put together and comes naturally, so you don't even have to worry about it. Just like it shows in this image, you know, they build upon each other. So we start with edges. That's why we did our upside down drawing. That's why we did pure contour drawing, which is, you know, the squiggle diggles, uh, the these are wrinkles in your hand, um, you know, that's this guy drawing his, the wrinkles in his hand without looking at his paper. And that's an exercise in this book called Pure Contour Drawing, which is helping the first basic skill of drawing. So that is the most important drawing exercise that you can do, especially as a beginner, in order to learn um, how to cross over from left brain to our brain. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, because why would I be getting into neurology? This is a drawing video. Well, 
we've got like two brains uh, and half of it is devoted to being linguistic and sequential the uh, brain science is updated but we have a process that is linguistic and sequential and it's like our daily life but then we've also got this other mode which is pattern and picture and nonverbal and non-spatial non-time no it is spatial but it's not time i don't know it's weird but just to finish off oh five minutes we're like two minutes ahead of schedule everybody all the and I went into Easter. Um, all the exercises in this book, therefore, are based on two organizing principles and major aims. First, to teach the reader the five basic component skills of drawing, which we just read through. We really on the first one we elaborated, and second, to provide conditions that facilitate making cognitive shifts to our mode, the thinking seeing mode specialized for drawing. And we elaborated on that many times in older videos. Go look up at that. I can link them if you want. In short, the process of learning to draw, one also learns to control, at least to some degree, the mode by which one's own brain handles information. So that's just the most important thing that I picked out for you guys. Um, again, always important to... Uh, goodness gracious, did I just lose... No, okay. huh, I thought I lost my feed. Plugging the phone in doesn't do anything, but if you open another app that uses the camera like Snapchat, then you'll lose the feed and you won't be able to start it up and you'll have to start stop the video. Just letting you guys know because that's why we had to end the last video. And I was just waiting for a good time to talk about that continuity. Drink water, it's good for your health. Where my Hydra homies at? Where you at, Hydra homies? I know you out there, Hydra homies. So, <clears throat> the pure contour drawing was the exercise for edges. That was good. And now we're going to do an exercise that helps you cross over. Upside down drawing. That was a fun video. Look that one up. Um, I'll tag that if you want. And we need to do negative space too. But um, this image, if you th think it might look familiar it is whoop, 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 whoop. why can't I do this right over there um, oh it's because wow I'm, I'm doing multiple angles this is really weird right now oh cameraing um, <laughs> wow there we go I don't know I'm pointing to it there we go um, and it's the same thing as this so click on it and follow or subscribe. You know, um, this is the face phase exper not experiment, exercise. We do it every time we start class. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna flip for a clean page. Where my marker at? Where my marker at? Okay, class, so we're gonna draw, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start on this side and then go around and do that side just like the exercise tells you to do and so the exercise that follows are specifically designed to help you understand the shift from dominant left hemisphere mode to the subdominant R mode I can go on describing the process over and over in words but only you can experience for yourself this cognitive shift this slight change in subjective state um, yeah you gotta feel it to believe it so this is like the first exercise. Also, sorry to go back, but I just remembered. Didn't I put a little star somewhere? I thought I just saw it. I don't know. Um, I did put a star somewhere. Unedited. <laughs> I'm not I'm I'm not going to edit this video, so now you're just here listening to me talk. Okay, so we're doing this exercise. Oh god, I can't believe I'm talking so much. We're gonna draw one side and then we're gonna draw the other side and talk while we do it, but uh, say what it is. Chin, lips, nose, forehead. So I did one side without talking, and now I'm going to talk on the other side. 
but I'm also looking at the image and chin, lips. I already saw my mess up. Nose, forehead, and do 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 do. It's not the worst thing that I've ever done, but um, <laughs> I definitely wasn't paying attention, so I, I like messed up big time. Um, the chin is supposed to come out further. The lips are up here, so <laughs> that would be a better example um, of the face fuzz. Wow, I haven't messed up on that one in a long time. So try it for yourself. It's supposed to be confusing because uh, if you're talking and not using the right part of your brain, then you're going to mess up, which uh, I just did. So I can't believe I just messed up. I was expecting that to be so easy. So moving on. I've done this thing like this whole book is filled with that own, that exercise that I thought was going to be so easy. Um, this page, I'm done with this book. Just read it. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's important to practice your drawing every day. That's why I'm making this video and I'm going to upload it even though it's garbage. So I really want to get better at anatomy and we've been drawing skulls a lot. And... <clears throat> Here's what we've been doing. We've got our skull um, without even, I'm not like gonna look at the labels, but we know we've got the frontal bone, superior temporal line, superciliary arch. We've got the glabella. We've got the root of the nose or the nason, um, nasal bone, nasal cavity cheekbone or the zygomatic bone, the zygomatic arch, zygomatic process, the eye socket is the orbital, um, I know the side of the head is the temporal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, I don't know what that's called, the maxilla is the upper jaw bone, I know we've maybe got upper, upper and dental arch, which is the bones. You've got 32 bones, 16 on each side. The mandible, um, angle of the mandible, body of the mandible, something protuberance. I don't know what this is called. So what did I miss? Mental protuberance is what I missed. Nasal bone, um, superior, what else did I miss? Brow ridge is a superciliary arch, but that's called the brow ridge. That was it. That's the only thing I missed was the mental protuberance. So I'm going to draw that really quickly. And it's on the mandible. So I just drew the mandible really quickly. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, good. I'm so glad it's on camera. Do, 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 do. Here's like the nasal cavity. And that's. Do, I wasn't meaning to do all of this, but it just started coming really easily. Do, 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 do. Marker, marker. This is the first time I'm like kind of really drawing in marker in front of you guys, at least. But I've done marker before. Um, not, I mean, it's just a speed drawing. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three. Three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do, 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 do. It should really go that far. <laughs> and then boop, 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 bo
Maybe I should just, I mean, I didn't mean to draw the whole skull again, but, you know, the mental tubercles and the men Oh, no, did I really want to do that? I guess I gotta. I'm practicing my marker skills right now. Which means, like, basically this whole thing has to be darker. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, goodness. What did I do? <laughs> My skull's jank. My skull's totally jank. Um, um, I really wasn't expecting this, but um, there's like kind of sounds coming out of me while I'm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> These sharp lines are coming out like little marching sounds, like ba 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 ba. But when I make the nicer lines, it's like whoop 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 whoop. A -do, 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 do So drop a comment below. Do you guys make stupid sounds when you're drawing? Because I'm cracking myself up right now. Do 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 do. There's like a little bit of shadow here. Um, I really should have done more of the shading in pen or... No, I mean, I kind of decided that I was going to use marker, so... I also said that I wouldn't move on till I could name them all without looking, and I had to look for the mental tubercles, so... I'm going to have to say that a couple times. Mental tubercles, mental tubercles. Mental protuberance, mental protuberance. Why mental? Do you guys want to make a mnemonic? So the mental is the brain, um, and mental in the mind. So I'm putting that thought into the mental protuberance, which is in your chin, protuberance. But that makes me think of like your butt or something. <laughs> I use mnemonics to get through my SATs, yo. Um, pretty good score with like n very little amount of studying. Do do do. I'm probably the only one who thinks it's a good score. <laughs> do 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 do. Happy Easter, Catholic Easter. At least Greek Easter isn't until um like a month from now. Apparently, that's when we're gonna get the Easter baskets in my family. Um, I really am not used to drawing with marker, so you guys are kind of here to experience this magical moment with me. <laughs> do, 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 um, can you guys be like my soldiers and we can, instead of having guns, we can have pens and markers? I like that idea. I wanted to have a color guard with my kids, but um, it never happened. And I also wanted to have a butterfly garden and a hummingbird garden with them. Oh my god, this started with maple wood. <gasps> oh my goodness, which I kind of knew. You know how you know things and then you kind of forget about them and then you come back into it later and you're like, oh my god. Ah, it's like Satori. Um, if you guys know any Buddhists out there, I'm a, I'm a Buddhist, but I'm also many other things. And Buddhism is like, that's allowed. So is Wicca. So, um, if there are any Wiccans, any, any witches out there, um, drop a comment below and tell me what kind of witch you are. I'm a kitchen witch. Um, I may be like a hedge witch, a shamanistic witch. There's many different kinds of witches. Uh, the green witch, because I also do a lot of gardening, which came from the butterflies, you know. It all came from the butterflies. Just, I mean, no, it came from the plants, because I was gardening, and I had dill growing, and then a swallowtail laid their eggs on the dill, and then I saw there were swallowtail caterpillars, and they were so small. And I followed them for like four, three or four days, um, making sure that they were still there in my garden eating my dill flower. Uh, and then, yeah, a storm was coming, so I kind of put them in a little tank with dill that I bought from the supermarket. 
and they metamorphosize, and then I have the butterflies, and I still have them. But that's what this monarch, I did the same thing with the monarch. I followed a monarch butterfly one day, and I watched it lay eggs, and I gently took those eggs, and I put them in a container, <laughs> and I did the same thing. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy process. Um, maybe I'll show you guys really quickly. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. It's right here. Um, those are my, my, um, chrysalises. There's more, but, uh, those are going to be butterflies. They're going to come out in like a week. So isn't that interesting? I'm going to put them over here. Boop. Okay. So back to my drawing. Um, again, I'm kind of new to marker. So, um, what I'm learning is that it's better to have like a, a strong dark line instead of these like little poopy um it's almost like a paintbrush because there is a huge difference between drawing lightly with the marker and putting a real line with the marker and it's like I guess in the beginning, what did I draw? I did I even, I think I guess maybe I started with pencil. I don't know. How did I get to the marker? <laughs> Why am I drawing with a marker? How did this even happen? Um, so yeah, back to the mental protuberance and mental tubercles. Tubercles make me think of worms. So now I've got mental worms with big butts because it's, and the brains. So they brain worm there's br worms in the brain or do the worms have big brains and big butts mental tubercle protuberance so it's worms with big brains and big butts and the tubercles really does that is worms tubercle nah, i don't know i'll have to think about it because they're tubes so, um, that's it for <laughs> the skull today. I'm failing on the mnemonic part of it. Um, maybe I'll combine marker and pen. I, I, why did I even, I'm still not sure how I even wound up going into the marker. Anyways, um, that was just a quick skull and we, I don't even know. We were just going through the names. So the other thing, temporal fossa, superior temporal line, frontal bone we knew, orbital eye socket. What else don't we know? Um, mental, mental protuberance, which has mental tubercles, which are both sides. Yeah, I don't know. I need to come up with a better mnemonic. Body of mandible. Something's remus. Is that the remus? Um, angle of mandible. I think this might be the remus. This is something I can't... I don't know what that is. Maxilla. Occipital protuberance, maybe. Temporal fascia, but I don't really... Yeah, let's see. Frontal bone, nason, we know that. Nasal bone, zygomatic bone, maxilla. Mental protuberance, mandible body mandible. I'm repeating it because that's the only way that we're going to learn. Ramus. Oh, I knew it. Ramus. How did I, I guess I only, oh, mastoid. So let's draw the mastoid um, really quick. So it's 1230. The family's not coming over till two. I've still got to shave and wash my dog. <laughs> so I'm doing like a quick little circle. Do, 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 do. Uh-oh, my phone's going off. What could that mean? Oh, it's like really going off. Well, too bad, everybody. <laughs> so something I've noticed is I keep putting the 
eye socket and the jawline off. So let's see if we can get that closer this time. <laughs> Comment below your favorite music that you like to listen to while you're drawing, maybe, or maybe what what do you want what do you want baby do 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 weird so if i were to divide this in half do 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 then this would be like back here oops i knew something was off I'm not going to erase it just because this has to be shaded in any way. Do, 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 do. This is the ear holy. Do, 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 do. So if that's that, then this means this is this. Do, 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 do. There's like a couple waves over here. And there goes one. And then we've got the zygomatic bone, which comes underneath the orbital. That's like here. And then, so the eye socket really opens up at the bottom. Because I usually don't open it up enough, which doesn't do a good job connecting it to the jaw bone. <laughs> which is what I see like about here which means that that would be like that and that would be like that a do 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 oh goodness gracious um this is supposed to be a little bit higher <laughs> I think I'm going to outline this in pen just because it's starting to get a little messy. This is why I usually tell people not to go dark until they're ready. Um, but I'm like, ah, I'm a professional. I can go as fast as I want. And then it just like turns out like crapiola. It's interesting how sometimes you can draw when you're not paying attention and it'll come out like really good and then other times you'll not pay attention and of course since you're not paying attention it'll like come out like garbage so um, <laughs> it's important to learn how to tell the difference. Like, it's not coming out, like, bad, bad. It's just kind of messy right now. You can kind of see what I'm going for, though, right? I do, 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 do. At least, you know, I'm surprised I'm not snapping lead. I'm drawing fairly hard. Maybe that's coming with the confidence, but, like, I'm usually not using the pencil like this at all. I do 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 it's cuz I'm like a little bit of in a rush but not really you know you're supposed to take your time and enjoy the process when you're drawing um so that's what I advocate for um always this is the nasal bone I'm just like okay I'm ready I'm ready to 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 oh goodness I just gave him like buck teeth or something. <laughs> I don't know. I want it to come out like that far. Da 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 I'm I'm doing it like so wrong, but Oh well, some days is just different. 
I usually start out like much lighter. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, they can't come out perfect every time, everybody. This is what we usually talk about in the class. Is that it's important to just... as And it's funny because... Even if you don't get it perfect, um, just the act of trying to do it means that the next time you could like actually do it. It's like throwing a basketball at a basketball hoop. Um, oh, I'm making so many analogies lately. So if I throw a ball at a basketball hoop and it hits the rim, but it bounces off, that's still a success, right? So if I draw a skull that has most of the bones in place, but maybe a two-third jaws out of line, then you know what? The next time I throw my basketball and could go in the hoop, so the next time I draw my jaw, it's probably going to look fine. Um, just like, I mean, again, this is like not the worst. It's not the worst skull. I'm just looking back and forth, and I'm like probably going to be kicking myself watching this video like eh, ah, what are you doing Jason I still want to go out further with the teeth though um, which means that like all of this has to come out more forwards do 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 do, 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 do. Now I'm just going to finish it up with some squiggly digglies um, to separate the bones. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh man, so that's supposed to be like here. Yeah, I kind of messed it up, but. Uh, la, 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 la. So again, the squiggly digglies is occipital bone, pareteal bone, temporal bone, frontal bone. Oh, I don't know what this one is. Um. We did know the ramus, body of mandible. We knew pretty much everything. Zygomatic arch, we knew that. Temporomandular joint. That's what I was wondering before. Temporomandular mandi mandibular joint. That's this thing right here. So we got to remember that. Temporomandibular joint. And then external auditory medis is this circle thing, which is like your ear hole. So again, I didn't mean to draw out the whole skull again. I probably, oh yeah, look, I did that way faster than I usually do. And I did two of them. So um, that's ridiculous. I drew two mediocre skulls, in my opinion, um, in about the same time as I drew my other skulls. Like, let's see. I drew this upside down. That was a really good class. Um... We drew this, did we do that yesterday? No, we did that two days ago. So just a comparison, because now I'm gonna do a quick little critique. Um, God damn it, where did all my drawings go? Do 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 that was a good drawing I did that a long time ago but it wasn't in marker and it probably took me like an hour do 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 okay so we just did this today and we did that two days ago dude I wish I could like actually put them side by side um actually they look pretty much the same to me The only difference is this one is a little more scratch scratch, but we, I was also learning. Okay, so that's my, my critique is that I was using the pencil like the way that I think a pencil should be used for some of the shading. Um, but this one I was much more like hesitant and taking my time. So, and then for this one that I did first, yeah, I did those really, really fast. Um, I did this one yesterday, so just to compare. I think since I spent so much time doing this yesterday, that this one was like a breeze. Um, and I know that 
I know that the skull is off now. Is that better? I don't want it to get like too cray cray, but uh, it's important to. Yeah, the marker is much better for stippling. Stippling is where you just do dots. So I did this yesterday and it took like 45 minutes. <laughs> and I did this one today and it took like eight minutes. Um, and again, same thing with the other. And I knew way more of the bones today than I did last time. This one, again, I also did that much faster than I'm used to. Um, and it's not terrible. It's just I've got like a Doug Funny on this side. That's with a big nose. Um, There's so many characters with big noses. Comment below with your character with your favorite big nose. I love Nigel Strawberry. Um, and Doug Funny. Um, yeah, so we drew two skulls today. That was pretty good anatomy practice. I mean... I want I I keep saying I'm gonna move on, but then um I'd never do. So um it's almost one o'clock. I've got to. I actually got plenty of time. You know what? There's really no rush. So I just heard two skulls. I wasn't expecting that. And we also did the face vase. Now we're gonna do the end, which is our figure drawing, which is what we just did all that the purpose of all of that was just to get up to this point. So I'm putting this away. I don't want to see it anymore. I found that a good way to draw is to start off s small and then work your way bigger. So like a couple seconds for a gesture and then we'll work into a couple minute drawing and then we'll go do like an actual long drawing just to get into the right mindset. So the first one is just a couple seconds. Oh, my favorite part. So, um, so I'm the model for this figure drawing session. So I'm going to have to disrobe and make my screen larger. Is my hair okay, everybody? <laughs> um, I've been doing chin-ups every day, so um, you probably won't see any results, but um, ooh, check out my guns. Maybe I'll draw that one day, but um, we're not up to my arms yet. We're just doing my face, which is shiny because I put a little fairy dust on my cheekbones um, so I can have a highlight. So, okay, I'm starting with a really quick gesture drawing of my face, my beautiful face. <laughs> Here comes Easter Cotton, yeah, how'd it go? Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. That's the only words that I know in the song. <laughs> know in the song. Know in the song. But I keep on singing even though I don't know the words to the song. My Hail Mary. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. This is the glabella. This is the supercillary arch or the brow line. This is the frontal bone, parietal bone, or my hairline. This is um temporal line. Something something temporal line. Um. Do 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 Hmm. Hmm. My nose is going like this way. It's coming down like this this time, huh? Cause I'm like kind of looking down. Do 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 do. Weird. I'm looking. I'm got like a weird perspective going. 
for this drawing of my face, my beautiful face. It's like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that one just wasn't really working, so. Skull with a circle and bring it down a little bit. <laughs> Trying to get like a basic shape here. If I were to divide it, then that would be like my nose and eyes are in the middle. So maybe they would go like here-ish. My nose is like here-ish. <laughs> So I started drawing when I was younger, but I never really got into it because I was like, I guess, kind of self-conscious or watch too much TV, maybe play too much Game Boy. There was just other things that were more interesting to me than like drawing skulls over and over and over um, and trying to figure out how cameras work and video feed and audio and <laughs> Yeah, I knew a lot of people who were really good, so it was kind of validating in a weird way to be like, oh man, my school has a lot of like... What? Um, I don't live alone, so I have to deal with some other stuff. So I was actually really enjoying what I had just done. Um, and I kind of lost my groove. You threw off my groove. So yeah, um, man, I was kind of really enjoying that. But like I've been saying this whole video, I'm on a time crunch and now I have to deal with other people. Um, so yeah, everyone keep practicing. I'm gonna have to cut this video short, um, even though I'm like really enjoying the way that I'm drawing right now. Isn't that like the craziest thing, how you can draw all the time and like not like it, and then when you finally it's like I finally <laughs> got the flow. I was like, this is really going to come out good if I spend a little time on it. Um, but I fucking can't. Oh, well. So let me just kind of finish what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. I'm going to have to shave my dog and then wash my dog. Um... Still cleaning, oh my goodness. Do 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 do. You guys are the most important thing to me. Like to be honest, I'm probably gonna get shit for putting off the stuff that I had to do. I mean, I've been doing everything I need to do, but um, you know, there's this phrase: dance on a pin, and all they can yell is faster. So if that ever, if that gives you, that gave me. When I first heard it, it kind of pissed me off because they, like, were flat out telling me that my hard work, like, didn't really matter. <laughs> but it does matter because you'll get better at dancing, even if it is on a pin. And there are going to be people maybe who want to learn how to dance and your ability to dance on a pin will be helpful to them um, when they're not dancing on a pin for people who won't appreciate them. I'm not making any judgments. I'm just, 
I'm just rambling about anything because that's what I'm doing. Um, boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Oh, goodness. I like. I don't know. I feel like this one could have. This one had potential. <laughs> Do a little. Man. I'm just, I'm like, I'm out of it. I'm going to have to stop this. So I guess that's the end of my, my practice today. Man, and the light's going out too. Don't forget to sign. Oh, the light just went out. Don't forget to sign and date your work. JSJ. Do, 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 do. 4 4 2021. And yeah, I mean, I'm trying to grow. You're trying to grow. We're only at 45 minutes. You know, like. This was, I don't know, I felt rushed today, so I feel like we went far. We we did extra work. Um, JSJ. In, we did extra work in half the time. Um, so I guess that means we're getting better. And then the next time that we draw, maybe we'll draw a little slower, which will give us time to have a really good eye um, 2021. Yeah, see, like, I was going to go over that in pen. I feel like I could have cleaned that up. Um, so we'll probably make less mistakes. Um, again, that's what drawing is all about. Like, as I keep showing you guys in my books, um, which I'm just going to have to get a new book so we can go in logical, in a sequential order and make that the left brain happy. But as you can see in my book, you know, I've been doing the same things every single day, and there are some good and there are some bad, um, but they are changing. See, like, that was an early one. Um, that was an early one. That was an early one. Even my, je yeah, so some of the gestures are really good, and some, some of them are, like, good. That was good. <laughs> But uh, it's all about the progression um, of getting better. It's all about the enjoyment. Um, so yeah, what does your sketchbook look like? Because this is what my sketchbook looks like. Um, it's mostly just bad self-portraits that are getting slightly better. And um, same thing with the anatomy. Um, the anatomy is just getting more detailed and more accurate. So, oh, wow. I like that one a lot. Weird. I really like that one. Um, this was our upside down drawing. I'm really proud of that one. But I'm just, yeah, flipping through the sketchbook and I'm, I'm liking what I see. I mean, we've been at this for a long time. So I now have a book that's full of skulls and, you know, we're going to get onto the muscles soon. So... Yeah, it's so funny because it's all the same person, but they all look different, but the skulls all look exactly the same. So that's what anatomy is good for. And um, yeah, it would be really fun in the future to teach more figure drawing, do more anatomy. Um, it's really important that, I don't know, I, I want everyone to know how to draw and learn how to draw and stuff. So... I'm cutting the video short because I've got stuff to do. Happy Easter. Um, don't eat too much candy, but drink lots of water. And I'll see you again tomorrow to do the same thing. Um, drawing on the right side of the brain exercises. Um, setting the conditions to draw on the right side of the brain. And then we're going to do some anatomy because in in the long run what we want to do is draw our own self-portrait and be comfortable and happy and content with what we draw and then anytime anyone asks us ever after that can you draw me we should be able to say yes because we're going to eventually know all of the anatomy and have lots of practice drawing people so it's really important to grow the community 
I really want to hear from you guys. Um, I mean, these videos are so that I can get better at practicing and I want to get better at teaching. Um, but I also want to grow the community. I want to see other artists. We can um, grow together. We can help each other grow. Um, I want to hear as many comments as possible. That's the most important thing. Yeah, let my videos run in your background. <laughs> but don't forget to like and subscribe. See, click the button, click the button. Do it, click the button. So follow um, and subscribe and everything so you'll see me every single day as soon as I post a video, which I will do every single day instead of drinking. <laughs> But this has been fun, and yeah, tomorrow we'll probably spend more time drawing the portraits. I think I've been really wanting to spend more time drawing my face. So we're probably going to speed through the anatomy tomorrow. Do, 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 do. Maybe we'll do some yoga or some juggling or some other fun stuff. Uh, I've got lots and lots of hobbies because I'm interested in so many things. So, And it's pandemic, so uh, I've had a lot of time on my hands. So, hopefully I said um less in this video, and hopefully you guys had fun. I'll put a link below, oh God, so you can skip forwards and see my drawing. I need to say that at the beginning of the videos. Anyways, um, yeah, I want to hear from you. I don't even need to know your name or anything, or I'll, I'll just, like, see your drawings. That's good. Okay, bye. Happy Easter. See you tomorrow. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. Or if you do pagan or whatever holiday, happy day. Um, we woke up this morning. So every day I wake up, I'm like, oh my God, like I could die any day. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe I have another day on my hands. I'm so lucky. Okay, bye.